All right, members, right now we're gonna go into how to create and trigger these different sequences inside of your ManyChat account or whatever Facebook bot you're using. Now, right now at the beginning, at the making of this video, uh, ManyChat is definitely at the top of the game when it comes to affordable prices for being able to automate your entire follow-up using Facebook Messenger. So this is a huge, huge way, huge advantage over the rest if you get onto this at an early, as an early adopter. We know that there are a couple people out there in the world, the early adopters, the people who wait for people like the early adopters to fix all the bugs. And then you got the rest of the people that are gonna come afterwards, right, the late adopters. And so, as you know, the early adopters who in previous, you know, whether it be softwares, platforms, or just in history, the early adopters of specific machines and technology always were ahead of the game. They stayed in front of the curve versus waiting for everybody else to test it out and then they come in after. And to be a leader and an authority in an industry, you got to be able to take those risks and start to really figure out where your attention should be at, right? You've got to be able to take that risk. And the only way to do that is by having an idea about where the market's going. And right now the market is heavy into inside of messaging. And if I were to show you the open rates and click through rates for our emails, it would not nearly, it would not be even close to what we have right here inside of many chat as far as open rates and click throughs. So if you look off to the right, we see that typically we have in these sequences, I mean, we have in our first take, it was 98% open rate, 12% click through. We redid that sequence, got a 93% open rate, a little bit less, but look at the click through now, 45%. Then we have another one with the VPC method. We have 100% open rate, and then we have a 55% click through. Now, these two haven't been uh, started yet. They've just, they, you see no subscribers here. Uh, so we're working on adding those in here. And then we have, look at this, the, web, the webinar. Okay, this is what I wanna show you guys today is how to create this sequence based on uh, what your what your subscribers are doing. So what I did is I created a sequence called the 100K webinar, and basically I deposited all the people who took specific actions into that webinar sequence, okay? And then I did a, web, a webinar reminder. So I basically set it up to where a day later, right, that they would be able to get that webinar reminder. So what happens, or a day before the webinar takes place or morning of, something like that. So if we were to look at this and we were to say, okay, well, how is this set up? Well, this is just a two-step webinar invite and a follow-up, right? So we're saying, first is, hey, I'm hosting a pop-up web class tomorrow. And of course, you could put this out for any amount of days. It could be like, hey, I'm hosting a web class to, in three days or in a week, whatever the, the time frame is. And you're gonna insert what you're sharing about. And then would you be interested in joining us? It's live. That's it, very simple, very simple. And if you look at, the amount of people who click through that, look, we had 62% open rate, so or 62% open, or 62 people open, and we had now 81.6%, look at that. The click-through rate, 31% click-through rate. That's incredible, right? We had 18% of those people actually say yes, they wanted it, okay? That's really good. 18% of people said that they really wanted it. I mean, how cool is that? So from here, what we wanna do is figure out how can we automate this sequence? Right, so one thing that we can do is if you look inside the webinar follow-up, inside the stats, you can go ahead and you could say, okay, well there's uh, you know, 76 people that I got sent to, 62% oh, or 62 of them opened. Let's say that uh, you know, 24 click, let's say I wanted to send a, uh, a thank you for these people. I can then click on that number right here in the clicked box and I could tag these users. And I could tag these users as attended or what, interested interested in 100k webinar okay tagged as 100 you know interested in 100k webinar I could then uh, use that right tag created and then now that, that everybody here inside of this is tagged so now what I know is that okay well if I come back to my sequences what I can do is I could actually create a new sequence and call it interested in webinar right pop-up webinar interested in pop-up webinar and now we can go to create and I could then of course as we've learned the hard way we want to delete any additional steps that you're not using you could always add a message here but you wanted to go ahead and, and only do them one at a time so from here let's go ahead and send that out let's say after after one hour of being tagged, or let's let's just do it after uh, let's just do it immediately so that we can get an idea of what this is. So we can do this immediately, and let's say that we want uh, these people here. Let's just go ahead and do this, and let's say do something like you know, uh, hey, first name, 
saw your interest in the pop-up web class, did you get to check it out live, or would you like the replay? Something like that, right? So of course you want to make sure it's spelled right. But hey, for hey Brandon, saw you were interested in the pop up web. Oop, not poop. <laughs> saw you were interested in the pop up web class. Did you get to check it out live, or would you like the replay? And then again, we would say something like watched it live. And this one might say show me the replay, right? And now what's going to happen is if they come here, be like create new message, say awesome. Did you get any value? Instead of what did you think? Awesome. Did you get any value? And then of course they're gonna say yes or no and you can add the buttons or you can just have them reply automatically. But typically we would add the buttons and then follow them down a sequence. If they say yes, perfect. Would you like me to, you know, spend some, you know, would you like me to get with you and show you how to implement it into your business? Would you like this? Would you like that? So there's a way for us to now segment those people, right? So now what would happen is if we come here and we say show me the replay, create a new message, ah, oh, sweet. Here it is. Here it is for you. And then you would put the link to the webinar there, to the replay. Now, again, one thing that we do when we're creating new sequences is we're going to give them an opportunity to unsubscribe. We do not want to have them upset because they can't unsubscribe. When you have that as an option, you just come down to new action and you're going to go to unsubscribe from bot. You don't want to unsubscribe from the sequence, you want to unsubscribe them from the entire bot. And now the new message would say, oh, that's too bad. Uh, we wish you the best of success. And if you ever have any questions, please reach out. Something like that. And now we have an entire sequence, okay? So now if we save this, now watch what can happen, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and give us a test now. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how it looks in action. Now you see I just created the sequence in less than 10 minutes we were able to understand exactly what we're going after, right? We wanna know who it is that we're gonna actually create the sequence for. We're creating it for people who are interested in attending the webinar. They said, yes, I would like to show up to the webinar. Now, again, we have all the data inside the webinar of who showed up, but this is gonna allow us to segment it inside of ManyChat now, because even though we know these things, we want them to take the specific actions to put them where they need to be so then we could serve them with more value uh, that's relevant to what their actual problems are, okay? So when we come up to growth tools now, or, or I'm sorry, when we go to audience, we're gonna to wanna to come to audience. And now let's just search for my name. Okay, let's, go, let's search for uh, Brandon, right? So now let's say that I want to come in, if there were say 15 Brandons and I wanted to apply a tag or start a sequence with only these people, all you have to do is you can go to filter and filter them through the campaign that they signed up with. You could filter them through the widgets that they signed up with. You could filter them through the tags that they have. Okay, but you could also filter them by name. So for this example, I'm gonna filter it by name and I'm gonna say, okay, well, I only want this person, but I want, I want all these people to be downloaded or input into the sequence that we just created, people interested in the webinar. So I'm gonna go to bulk actions. I'm gonna say subscribe to sequence. Now the sequence is gonna be what we just created, which is gonna be interested in pop-up webinar. So from here, we're gonna go to save and it's gonna say this will affect one user. Are you sure? Confirm. So now, What's going to happen is the email or the the the, um, the bot should send me a message. Okay, so while we were going through that, you want to make sure you want to make sure that you have it active. Okay, you want to make sure that you have this active. And as you can see, what happened immediately is, hey, Brandon, saw your interest in the pop-up web class. Did you check it out live, or would you like the replay? And then if I say watched it live, awesome. Did you get any value? If I say show me the replay, it's going to say sweet. Here it is for you. If I say unsubscribe, it's going to unsubscribe me from the bot. So uh, as you can see, it happens instantaneous, and as you can see, it's very powerful. So for right now, what I would suggest is to go through exactly what you have given away, okay? If you have, if we were to look at our sequences, okay? We're gonna say we have the VPC method, we have the swipe file. Inside of the swipe file and the VPC method, people who are taking specific actions, we're then gonna take them through either the lead page training video, our Facebook ads training video. If they watch those videos, we're gonna take them down another path for that. If they don't watch those videos, then we're gonna invite them to say the webinar. If they attend the webinar, we're gonna, we're gonna send them another sequence. 
if they never responded or they never invited the webinar, we're going to come at it from another angle and we're going to deposit those people. We're going to continue to sort and to segment our entire audience so that there's each group of people has a topic that they're interested in that we now can become more relevant to. So it's very important for you to take time to segment these people to think about, okay, if they attended this training and they didn't purchase, what can I now give them to complement that that would help further their mission, but still show them and demonstrate the value that I have to help them be the person that they need to have on their team or the product that they have to have. So that's a very quick overview, but that's how you set, that's how you create these sequences and start these sequences. You just come into your many chat account, come to automation, come to sequences, create new sequence, make sure that when you create your sequence, you delete all the extra steps that you're not using and then build them out one at a time. Then you want to make sure that you've saved everything inside of here, right? Inside of when you're building this, make sure to come up to the top right and click the save button because then what you're going to do is you're going to click on here and make sure this is active. Then when you come into your audience, you're going to do your search, whether it be by name or by the filter, you're going to use bulk actions. You're going to subscribe to a sequence and that sequence is going to be the sequence you just created. From there, it's going to happen instantaneously. Watch the magic happen. If you have any questions about anything, you know that you can send us an email. We'd love to be able to either create further in-depth training on this, but this should be a quick start for you to be able to take people from one sequence to an entirely different sequence. All right, so get to work on this and I'll see you on the next video.